What's up YouTubers, this is Chetan here and welcome to my channel Nature Design. Yes, I'm back with a new video and the theme for today's project is Hobbit House Terrarium. I made this Hobbit House with the help of Styrofoam and I later on coated it with POP, a mixture of POP and cement and I colored it with the help of acrylic paint. Especially for this project, I have made this tank. The size of this tank is 1 foot by 1 foot by 7 inches. For false bottom, I'll be using gravels in this project. And mosquito mesh to avoid the substrate from falling into this false bottom and a charcoal layer to purify the water in the terrarium. Yes, the substrate consists of dry moss, coco peat, coconut bark and soil. But for this particular project, the quantity of the soil has been increased in the mixture. And we are also using dragonstone for the hardscape purpose. The plants that I'll be using for this project it's Aurelia. Uh, this is just a cutting of Aurelia but uh, I'm sure it will not die and it will root up very soon and also it will look like a tree beside the Hobbit house. I don't know the name of this plant but this is found out in my area and due to the small size of the leaves I'll be using this in the project. These are the seed box plants which I have used in plenty of my projects but uh, those are really good looking plants and especially the red one I like it so that's the reason I am using in this project also. And of course the moss this will be also the main part part of this project but uh, i really don't know the name of this moss so do let me know if you know it so let's get started the bottom layer gravels and after the mosquito mesh to avoid the substrate from falling into the false bottom. I have very less charcoal uh, so I added the charcoal in the substrate itself. It's okay if you add the charcoal directly in the substrate instead of uh, adding the layer of the charcoal. It works similarly and about the substrate what I told you before that I have added uh, the quantity of the soil is more in the substrate the reason for that that I just made the front of this house uh, and it's nothing in the back so give to give it a 3d look I added more soil so that the soil firmly settles uh, behind the house and give it a structure like it's a real house Now you can see that it is taking a shape of a house. Now I'm using a brush to settle down the substrate on the front. It's done now. It's time to plant the moss. It took me near about 2 hours to collect all this moss in front, from all over the area.
now it's time to add some more plants it's really looking good and please let me know in the comment box what do you think about it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the notification bell to keep you updated the, the videos which are coming up in the future every week corner of the house was not looking good so what I did I just removed it but I did ruin the hardscape to just cover it up uh, what I did I put up some soil on it and added some moss on it I don't know if you are able to see it or not but there is an earthworm in front or door of the house and even Earthworms are really good for the terrarium and I purposely brought it and put it in the terrarium. Now it's time to add some spring tails. I was unable to film it properly. And one more thing. I have made this chimney but I was unable to film the chimney and the stairs which I have made up of slate stone. So please let me know what you think about this in the comment box and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe it because there are plenty of new products coming up in the future and if you want to know all about all the projects and all the videos you need to subscribe to this channel so that's it for the day and see you next week bye bye